Barnett won, Torquay nil. Mel, what's your thoughts after that performance? Uh, a win. It's a win, it's three points, another clean sheet, so that's a fourth on the spin. Um, so yeah, we're delighted, delighted. It was a very good start to the first half with Armstrong getting the uh, goal after 10 minutes. How important was that to get to a good start and uh, put a talky side, which are lower confidence, on the back foot early on? I think it's um, always got to get a good start against any any team, regardless of where they are in the league and what they're doing. Um, we started brightly, we created some good chances, and the, the goal was a great goal. I mean, um, Idris makes a great run across the near post, which means the ball's delivered and the keeper can't come because of Idris's run. And um, we keep talking about run to goal, and a fair play to Marvin, made a great run to the back post, and what a great finish. Torquay sort of got into the game more into the uh, end of the first half, having, uh, with Walker having to make some good saves. What was said in the dressing room at half-time to make sure that we kept the clean sheet and sort of hold on? Well, I think we, we started the game well. I, I think we played, sometimes this time of year now, you, you know, you win ugly, what we call win ugly. It's, it doesn't always go your way. And a team that are 1-0 down, particularly a team coached by Gary Johnson, they've got some quality players. Um, and they're going to put you under pressure. And they put us under a lot of pressure. And part of a team, I said yesterday in my interview about keeping clean sheets, teams keep clean sheets. It starts at the front to the back. And uh, today, as a team, we worked very, very hard to keep a clean sheet. So all that was said at half-time was, was keep doing what we're doing. We're a professional side. We know what we're doing. We know the shape of the team, how we play. And just to keep doing it, we trust the players. And uh, it was, you know, go out there, we trust you and, and get the result. It is now four wins on the bounce. There's a very feel-good atmosphere around the club. Now, how, how positive is that going into this tricky sort of period of the season, like Christmas time? I think it's always good to have positive feeling around the place. I mean, I mean, an, an environment is created by by the manager and, and by the club, and, and the environment here is a very positive, very happy environment, regardless. Um, and I don't just mean the playing side; I mean the whole whole club in general. And so the environment's one that people want to be part of. Um, and even when we're losing, we still have an environment that's positive and, and looking forward. And the four wins are great. But I mean, I said yesterday again in the interview that one win can become two, three, four, which is great. But also one defeat, you're only in two, and then two suddenly on the spin and three on the spin. So we don't get carried away. We're a positive, happy group. Um, everyone's working very, very hard. Everybody. And um, at the moment, we're getting getting a little bit of luck our way and um, tr grinding out some good results. The fans were in fine voice today and there was a lovely moment at the end of the game with the fans and the players. How, how Have you got a message for them tonight? Well, I think fan, everyone appreciates fans. And I mean, the fans, I mean, I've just come here this season and the fans have been brilliant. I mean, away from home when we were away the other week, we all went and shook their hands. They're fantastic, the numbers who travel. But here today, great to have noise. And even when we were on the back foot a little bit the second half and talk put us under pressure, they're brilliant. I mean, they don't think they realise, fans don't seem to realise the impact they have. A positive, I just said we've got a positive environment here. There's nothing worse than having a positive environment in the dressing room and then a negative environment in the stands. We don't have that. Positive in the dressing room and positive out on the stands. So my, my thanks goes out to all the fans, everyone who makes the effort to come and see us and everyone who voices is great. We've got a little bit of a break in the league action now with two cup games this week with South Hall on Tuesday and then Accrington on Saturday. How's, how's, how do you manage the legs now heading going, going into this week? Well, they'll, they'll have a, an extra day off this week um, and then they'll work very, very, <laughs> very, very hard. So it's it's um, a bit of a trade-off for them. Um, and then we've got a game Tuesday night, which will put a, a strong side out for Tuesday night. The players who need minutes will get minutes so that they're ready. Um, players, the, the biggest problem with the club is if, if, you've got play, if you haven't got a reserve team to play um, when they don't play games, when they get their chance to play in the first team, they're a little bit detrained. So Tuesday night's an opportunity to get everyone's levels up. Um, so they'll, they'll work hard Tuesday, the ones who aren't playing. The ones who are playing will play Tuesday. Um, and then we'll go Thursday, Friday, obviously travelling Friday to Accrington. Um, and it'll be measured and managed and um, they'll be, be ready for the next game. Mel, thank you for your time. No worries.